In this tutorial, we will see how to develop an X-bar chart and S-chart when the standard deviation is given. Two notes are in order. First, I will be giving a summary of the data. If you need to know how the data was summarized, please consult the Review of Averages, Range, and Standard Deviation tutorial. Second, I will be giving the control chart factor since I do not have copyright permission to include the table. You can easily find a copy of this table online by Googling control chart factors. The formula on the slide shows how to compute the standard deviation or S chart and the mean or X bar chart when the standard deviation is known. The slide shows a set of data for diameter of holes drilled by an industrial drill press. There are 10 samples and each sample has a size of 8. It is known from previous experience that the standard deviation of the process is 0.064 inch. A summary of the data is shown on the slide. This summary is all we need to construct the control charts. Also shown are the control chart factors for a sample size of 8 that we will need. In reality, you would complete the S chart first since if there is a problem with it, the X bar chart is meaningless. However, textbooks generally do the X bar chart first and the S chart second, so that is what we will do as well. For the X bar chart, the center line is just the average of the 10 means, or 0.505. This is called the grand mean. To find the upper control limit, we take the grand mean of 0.505 and add 3 times the standard deviation of 0.064 divided by the square root of the sample size to get 0.573. We subtract the same value to get the lower control limit of 0.437. Note that you should always use a Z value of 3 unless the problem states otherwise. Note that we use the standard deviation of the data as given in the problem. We divide it by the square root of the sample size to convert this to the standard error used in the formula. Had the prior standard deviation not been given, we would have used the average standard deviation value. For the S chart, the average sample standard deviation of 0.0656 is the center line. We multiply it times B4 of 1.82 to get the upper control limit of 0.119 and by B3 of 0.19 to get the lower control limit of 0.012. The slide shows the resulting X bar chart. It uses the control limits we computed earlier. The data point to the sample mean shown earlier. Note that the process appears completely in control with no points near either control limit. The slide shows the resulting S chart. As with the X bar chart, everything appears to be within control. The slide shows a set of data for diameters of holes drilled by an industrial drill press. There are 10 samples and each sample has a size of 8. It is known from previous experience that the standard deviation of the process is 0.043 inch. A summary of the data is shown on the slide. This summary is all we need to construct the control charts. Also shown are the control chart factors for a sample size of 8 that we will need. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. For the X bar chart, the center line is just the average of the 10 means, or 0.802. To find the upper control limit, we take the grand mean of 0.802 and add 3 times the standard deviation of 0.043 divided by the square root of the sample size to get 0.848. We subtract the same value to get the lower control limit of 0.757. For the S chart, the average sample standard deviation of 0.0412 is the center line. We multiply it times B4 of 1.82 to get the upper control limit of 0.075 and by B3 of 0.19 to get the lower control limit of 0.008. The slide shows the resulting X bar chart. It uses the control limits we computed earlier. The data points of the sample mean shown earlier. Notice that the process appears completely in control with no points near either control limit, although the means are more spread out in this example than they were in the first example. The slide shows the resulting S chart. As with the X bar chart, everything appears to be within control.